What is up, guys? It's JRT. It's Ryan, formerly known, also known as JRT. I don't know how everyone want to do it. So today I wanted to talk about Kofi, but things changed. Uh, I apologize for my appearance. I just got out of work, but the Hall of Fame induction that has everyone up in a tizzy for D Generation X, that is including Triple H, HBK, uh, New Age Outlaws, and China. Um, there seems to be a lot of dissension about China that she more deserves her uh, solo introduction to the Hall of Fame. And I, I, I agree. Um, this could be a cop-out, a way that they are getting away with inducting her without, you know, really inducting her. But it, it's, it's good one way or the other. Uh, I'm happy for China. I'm happy for everyone. Um, Mike and I, Mike Aaron, if you don't know him, we're talking on Twitter about how this might be the only way that guys like X-Pac, uh, Billy Gunn, and um, Road Dog find their way into the Hall of Fame. So, you know, it's good. It's good for everyone involved. It's a little weird for me, uh, for Triple H, to get in there as a faction before he's in there as a solo act. But <laughs> Triple H is weird. Triple H is an enigma within the company because he does have so much clout, you know, he's, he's pretty much running the company, he's running NXT entirely, um, you know, so, it's a little weird, but, uh, initially, like I said, I was gonna talk about Kofi, uh, and I do want to say that the Elimination Chamber match, the men's match was, was, was good, but it wasn't great until Kofi and Debray went one-on-one, -on -one. Uh, they really tore the house down, and it doesn't make all of the sense in the world if Kofi were to win this close to WrestleMania. You know, they have a lot of these matches for WrestleMania already, you know, kind of set in stone, hopefully, at this time. Um, but Kofi will get his time. Absolutely. Kofi will for sure find his way into the main event spot that he so rightfully deserves. It may not be this week. It may not be next week. It may not be this year. But I think we will see Kofi Kingston respected for the things that he is good at, which is professional wrestling. I mean, he's one of the best guys on the roster. Um, you know, we'll have to see uh, what happens. Weird setup. You can see Dave Cole artwork in the back. I just wanted to kind of do this quickly because I said I would do one this weekend and I didn't. I was a little tired after Elimination Chamber, but I will say that Fantastic on WWE actually running a pay-per-view that didn't end at midnight. Um, big four or not, I mean, the pay-per-views are just too damn long at this point. Um, so, you know, this, this is the kind of thing. This is also, I wanted people to understand what gigging it really was. It's these short, to-the-point little vlogs so you can hear from us more often, so we can give our opinions more often. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. Follow us on Twitter at The Blade Job Show. Just, you know... I hope that uh, we can offer the content, especially the video content that we've been promising for a long, long time. Something we've really, really wanted to do um, since the beginning. Uh, I initially wanted the show to be a video show, but logistically it was just kind of a pain in the ass. So you know, I hope you're enjoying uh, what we're doing. I hope you enjoy this new series that we're running. Um, it'll be a lot of fun to be able to get into the swing of it and really be able to bring you information up to date as opposed to a week behind or two days early. So you know, we, we record on Saturdays and sometimes it is hard. You know, it's hard to to get out there more often than just on Twitter. And that's not really the same thing. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy the ones that Scott and John are going to be doing. I'm talking to you guys. Uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.